every day we are going to start off by reading from Galatians chapter 5. The same same verses. The same same verses. So once again, Galatians chapter 5. We are going to read from verse 22 to verse 26. I told you yesterday these verses are very important that you meditate upon them. Because we say that the Holy Spirit comes down, and He wants to ask prepares us. So that he prepares us. He wants to ask and prepares us. Amen. He works on us and prepares us and uh, produces the fruit so that we have that uh, likeness of God as we spoke of yesterday. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith. Meekness, temperance, again, in such there is no law. And they that are not Christ have crucified the flesh with the effect, affections and lusts. You believe in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Let us not be desirous of being glory. Provoking one another, envying one another. Those are very important things which you should always meditate on and purpose to live according to those. Amen. Then, as we continue today, we are learning at the same time we are in prayers. So yesterday maybe there is something I never told you. I think I should tell it to you today. So that when you pray in the day, and when you come early also to pray, which I encourage you to do. If you are able, please come well before the meetings begin and be in prayer. I want to share with you now uh, the thing why we should be in prayer and how we should be praying. And then we shall move on with the gifts. Now, it is the will of God that we should partake and operate in the gifts that He gives. That His body may profit by the gifts that He gives to us as we saw yesterday. Amen. Amen. So, not only that the Bible says to us that these nine gifts of the Spirit are available to all believers, but it goes ahead and even tells us that we can stir up these gifts which the Lord has given to us. And he also goes ahead and tells us that we can even desire such gifts. So I want us this evening to begin by looking at some by looking at some verses that will encourage us to desire to operate in the spirit and to pray for it. Amen. Amen. First of all, First Corinthians chapter 14. Verse 39. First Corinthians chapter 14. Verse 39. Where for brethren covet to prophesy. And forbid not speaking in tongues. 
Amen. Amen. It says covet. That is honestly desire. Amen. It is not too much for you to desire to prophesy. I told you yesterday that the operation of the of the gifts of the spirit is not the same as as uh, being in the office. So when you when you desire that you should prophesy, it doesn't necessarily mean that you want to be a prophet. Prophet is the is, is the office. Prophesy is the gift which God by His Spirit gives to uh, several as He wills, as we saw yesterday. So actually what happens is exactly what happened in, in the upper room in Jerusalem. When people are together, the Holy Spirit is in control. He can choose to land upon any as we saw yesterday. And use that person. And use that and that is why uh, we are saying <inaudible> that you can resign. <inaudible> so, in other words, you are saying <inaudible> you just open yourself up <inaudible> and tell him, Lord, I am ready. <inaudible> use me. <inaudible> if there is any prophecy, <inaudible> here is a person. <inaudible> you can use me. <inaudible> Bless him in the name of the Lord. <inaudible> and if we open it, According to the fruit which you have seen in Galatians, and we shall not be angels. We are going to learn later on. And there are certain portions that we have got to be in, which is not for now. Uh, First Corinthians, the same, the same chapter, verse 1. 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 That's one. Full of the charity and desire spiritual gifts, but rather that you may prophesy. Desire spiritual gifts. What you desire in prayer. Amen. Amen. Okay. Uh, the word of God is emphasizing on prophecy because it has its place of significance, which we shall get, uh, which we shall see when we get to that. But the, 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 the portion that tells you desire spiritual gifts or gifts of the Spirit. Let's say the deliverer. First Thessalonians chapter 5. First Thessalonians chapter 5. The verse 19. Quench not the Spirit. Quench not the Spirit. The spirit. Despise not prophesying. Prove all things. Hold part that which is good. That means we should not be like, like the church is today. They are, that they are totally discarded the operation of the Spirit. Despising every form of prophecy. We are told not to despise, but we are told to prove. Prove what things. That means just because it is spoken, that means it is like that. When we prove it, then we can hold fast in that which is good. Amen. Blessed be the Lord. We can also read the book of uh, First Timothy chapter 4. First Timothy chapter 4. Verse 14. 
Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by, by prophecy. Amen. Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy. With the line, with the laying on of the hands of the presbyter. Meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them that they that thy profiting may appear to all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed in the name of the Lord. Second Timothy chapter one. Timothy one. Verse six. Where I put be in remembrance of, in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of God, which is which is in thee by the putting on of my hands. So it means that we should work towards operating in the gifts. We should desire. We should desire. So when we pray, we should pray showing God that we truly desire. Amen. God should know that we desire. He should know that we know he loves that we should operate in them. And that we are ready to operate as he desires of us. Blessed be the Lord. We are ready to do as he desires of us. That we may operate in men. That we may operate as he wants us to operate. Amen. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jesus speaking in the book of Luke chapter 11. He said, from verse 9. Luke, I come in a moja, And I say unto you, ask, and it shall be given thee. Seek, and you shall find it. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asked to receive it. Everyone that asked to receive it. And he that seek it, find it. And him that knock it, it shall be opened. If a son shall ask bread of any of you that is a father, will he give him a stone? Or if he asks a fish, will he for a fish give him a serpent? Or if he, if he shall ask for an egg, will he offer him a scorpion? If ye then, being able to know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him? We know how to give to our children good gifts. Amen. That's what Jesus says. We know how to give our children good gifts. If you know how to give the children good gifts, you say Amen. And then he says, The Father, 
Who is righteous? Who is loving? Who is holy? Shall give unto us who ask. The Holy Spirit. And when Jesus compares it with the good news to give to our children, then it means the good news of the Holy Ghost. To them that ask. Blessed is the name of the Lord. So we should be bold and confident to ask. And we should be in expectation to receive and operate their name. Knowing that it is not for self glory. Remember in Galatians chapter 5. It is not for self glory. And remember that it is to glorify the Lord. Because it is God who does God. And the Spirit enables us to do what He does. Blessed is the name of the Lord. And it is not for envy or for strife. Amen. It is not for respect, not that we should respect you. In fact, if we are humble, if we humble ourselves and we are very very complicated and he chooses to use any of us we shall be most of the time just hear the voice because many times it will be when we are praying and when you are through you are quiet and uh, it is not for, for you again to say did you hear what the Holy Spirit said with me Blessed be the Lord. He, he, he distributes the gifts separately as he wills. So we are just supposed to, we are just supposed to tell him, I am here and I am ready. No, as he will. Blessed be the Lord. So yesterday we saw the word of knowledge. And we talked a lot about it. And we talked as much as we could about it. Amen. And they say that it was a uh, God giving a portion of what he knows concerning the matter to one of his own. That that portion he releases may profit the, the, the church or the congregation. That is it to take the church from one level to another level. Blessed be the name of the Lord. It may, be to a, it may be directly to a person, to a family, or to a congregation, as he wills. Whatever it is that he desires that we should know, then he chooses it according to how he desires it should be known. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And we saw also that he can lift it in a vision. He can also lift it uh, by impression, impression in the heart. And we looked at several examples of how it happened. Blessed be the Lord. In the New Testament. And I also mentioned some of the Old Testament. Today, I want us to turn to a uh, word of wisdom. Now, word of wisdom is closely related to word of wisdom. Amen. Now, God is all wisdom. And it doesn't give us the gift of wisdom. He gives us one of wisdom. Just a portion of wisdom concerning the matter he wants to address. Amen. He gives a portion of his wisdom concerning a matter that he desires to address. So that we may we, we may be guided 
We have talked of knowledge. He makes us know part of what he knows. But if we know that which he knows, and we don't know how, how to handle the wisdom, we can backfire. Blessed be the Lord. We can backfire. So he may let you know. And uh, then he also. He also gives unto you word of wisdom. We need to handle now what you know. Amen. Amen. We need to handle what you know. I love Jesus the way he operated. Yesterday you mentioned John chapter 4. Talking about the Samaritan woman. All along that Jesus so her coming to the world, Jesus had knowledge of her life. But Jesus did not just attack her immediately she arrived. In fact, the communication Jesus had with her did not begin with what Jesus knew about her. Amen. Amen. What did I do about her was just at the end. And it touched her so much that it transformed her. Maybe Jesus started the other way would have scared her away. Because remember, the Jews and the Samaritans had no dealings. So if Jesus attacked her just by, by what Jesus knew about her, maybe she would have interpreted it as one of the insults from a Jewish man and she would have gone away from the world. Then God gives us wisdom that we know how to handle the knowledge that it is to us. Amen. Amen. So that the knowledge we, we, we get now, we, it gives to us by what is knowledge. Apply now what of wisdom. Benefit to me, benefit the body of Christ. Amen. Amen. Knowledge alone without wisdom does not profit. Amen. In any area. Knowledge alone without wisdom does not profit. And this is why we need the word of wisdom. From the Holy Spirit in our even in our daily life. We have got many decisions to make at times. And I want to tell you, you you need the Holy Spirit. And you need this gift of wisdom. That by it you may make some decisions. When it comes to abortion, you want to abortion the gifts of the Holy Spirit and the things of the Holy Spirit to be confined to the walls of the of the church structure. Or a congregation of the brethren. But that is not so. The Holy Spirit is ready to help you over any matter. Blessed be the Lord. If you are free and willing, you can give your knowledge even outside the congregation. But you can allow one of wisdom to operate outside the congregation. You can have seen the confusion you have got to make. And many times we desire the wisdom, divine wisdom. Amen. Amen. I know that on this set, on in this, in this teaching or in this topic, sometimes the line between word of knowledge and word of wisdom is very thin. Sometimes 
It's not even identifiable. Sasa kile ni vigumu kubali neno la maarifa na kuongea neno la hekima na mkazia. So you may find very opinions. Kwa hivyo basi unaweza kupata mawazo tofauti. But I want to tell you something. Lakini tawapa ni kitu. The, the word is straight. Neno word of knowledge. Neno la hekima, neno la maarifa. The word is straight. Neno liko plain, it is clear. Liko word of wisdom. Neno la maarifa. Word of knowledge. Neno la maarifa. Amen. Amen. The key word there are knowledge. Maneno muhimu pale ni maarifa kwa ni maarifa. And the other one there is wisdom. Neno kile ni hekima. Wisdom concerns operation. Hekima inahusiana na utendakazi. Amen. Amen. Wisdom concerns action. Hekima inahusiana na kile kile kitendo. So the first one is something kwa hiyo ya kwanza ni kitu ambacho kinaweka ndani mwako. Maybe you are meant to know. the next one is something which you are directed or you are guided to do. Lakini kile cha pili ni kile umeelekezwa kutenda. Amen. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Wengine wanaweza kataa haya. But the day that two women appeared to Solomon. Lakini ile siku wanawake wawili walikuja mbele ya Sulemani. Amen. Amen. They appeared to Solomon. Walikuja mbele ya Sulemani. And they, one of them said. Na mmoja wao akasema. Both of us are young and friends. So that we are not one of us slept and rolled over over her own child. Mmoja wetu alilala na kanali ya mtoto wake. And the child died. Ile mtoto akafa. And then now She is claiming my own child to be hers. Anasasa adai mtoto wangu kuwa wake. That was a difficult case. Hii ni kwa kesi ambayo ilikuwa ni case of normal life. It was not in, in the center, not in the temple. Lakini ilikuwa hali ya maisha kawaida haikuwa kanisani ama kwa hiyo tendo congregation. Haikuwa katika ile project life. Ilikuwa tu makuso maisha. Amen. Amen. And then we are told. Lafta nadi that Solomon made a very wise decision. We must understand that Solomon operated in two types of wisdom. By the time he came to writing the wonderful book of Ecclesiastes, he wrote it by a lot of wisdom of experience. Aliandika akiwa na ile hekima nyingi ya kutisha. And he did not keep that from us. He told us plainly that I have tried these things and I found the vanity. Na akatwambia wazi wazi kwamba alikuwa amejaribu hayo mambo na akapata libati. I have tried how a man has found this vanity. Ile na maana kwa pesa nilipata kwamba libati. Even about women have found this vanity. Hata kuhusu wanawake nilipata kwamba libati. Amen. Amen. That is not the same wisdom that he applied when the two women came. Amen. Amen. It's not the same. Si sawa. So you will need that wisdom. Kwa hiyo utahitaji hiyo hekima. To apply in various situations. Kuitumia katika hali mbalimbali. Amen. Amen. You have designed umepambanua that maybe your spouse is cheating on you. Kwamba uenda mwanzi wa ndoa ana. And you know it. No, How will you approach it? How can you handle it? That is not service, not church, not anything, but it's about your life. Hiyo sio ibada kwa hiyo kusukanisha inahusu maisha yako. Amen. Many people can handle it with a lot of normal wisdom. Wengine watashughulikia na ile hekima ya kawaida. And some will have the lack of normal wisdom or just wisdom ya normal wisdom. Na wengine watashughulikia tu na ile hekima ya kawaida. But when God gives you how to handle it, at the end of it, it shall be good. It shall be good. When things are spoken about you, when they come to your knowledge, things that are, that, that are not even true, how will you handle them? Blessed in the name of God. They are also lead by the wisdom. But also, when we come now to to the, the full operation. We also find that uh, God can follow the word of knowledge. We see a lot of that in the letters to the to the Asian 
is a man that touches in the book of Revelation. James first the world speaks of what what he knows about the judge or what God knows about the judge. The things which have been and the things which are that is knowledge. And then he goes ahead to say what the judge should do. That is wisdom. Bless the devil. And it is all from the Holy Spirit. So what is known and then what is to be Hallelujah. Is anybody getting something? Yes. Is anybody getting something? Yes. With wisdom, you will not apply any of the gifts to the negative. Or to produce negative results. It's because of lack of wisdom that is sometimes you find chaos in the congregation when, when one applies the gift. And because of that, to avoid the chaos, people totally avoid the gift of totality. And then they leave it that dated me from here. I told you yesterday that, uh, that, 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 that even before I was given any title of judge about wow. being a, a self leader. Still I could operate in a gift of particular knowledge. And this is go together with the word of wisdom. This is the word of wisdom that will guide you. So that you will not uh, you, 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 you will you will not uh, you will not speak where not, we are not supposed to speak or you will say things you are not supposed to say. That you are given a portion of God's knowledge. That doesn't mean you are told you have been told to announce it unless yes. unless also the spirit tells you now speak it out. Amen. Amen. I say that uh, I say that before I came to Kitale, I knew I would come. Six months before I came, I think it was around, around six months before I came. I knew. But God did not tell me to go and tell my pastor. Amen. So I knew. But I was not going to tell anybody. Now, I never even told my family. Because I was not told to tell them. Amen. Amen. But that one you cannot do unless he also gives you wisdom. Amen. Amen. Are we still together? Yes. So we must know that what of wisdom is, uh, is a portion of God's wisdom released to us according to whatever state he wants to go. Amen. Amen. So today, I want us to just rise up and I want us to pray before we wind up. Tomorrow, I'm going to see the gift of prophecy. Amen. But right now, I want us to stand up because I said yesterday and I still maintain that. We don't want to learn about the gifts. Amen. We are not here to get head knowledge or heart knowledge about the gifts. We are here to see operation in the gifts or operation of the gifts in us. Blessed be the Lord. In us. As we go to pray, I want to show you something in the book of Second Chronicles. Second Chronicles chapter 20. I know verse 20 is famous. 
Najua msari wa Shilini. Shilini. Unajulikana sana. But let us start from verse 14. Lakini tuanze. Okay. No, no, verse 14. I want us to look very fast. We are starting from verse 5. No, unataka tusome kwa haraka sana tukianzia msari wa 5. Second Chronicles chapter 20. Mambo ya nyakati wa 2, 20. Verse 5. Kuanzia msari wa 5. And your shepherd uh, stood in the congregation of Judah and Jerusalem in the house of the Lord before the new before the new court. Yoshafata kasimama kati ya kusaniko la Yuda ya Yerusalemu nyumbani kwa Bwana mbele ya Mungu mpya. And say, O oh Lord God of our fathers, art not thou God in heaven? Akasema, E Bwana Mungu wa baba zetu, si wewe uliye Mungu bali wewe. Hayo ndio ni mwanzo wa ombi. So this king Yoshafata is in prayer. Kwa hivyo wewe mfalme Yoshafata yuko katika maombi. And who is not ruled not now over all the kingdoms of the earth of the heaven? Tena si wewe utawalae fadhili zote za mataifa. And in my hand is there not power and might so that none is able to withstand thee? Na kuna mimi wako kuna uwezo na nguvu basi uweze mtu yote kusimama kinyume chako. And not thou our God who didst drive out the inhabitants of this land before thy people Israel and gave it into the seed of Abraham thy friend forever? Si wewe e Mungu wetu uliye uliye wafukuza wenyeji wa nchi hii bende ya watu wako Israeli ukawapa wazao wa Ibrahimu rafiki yako hata milele and they went there and have built thee a sanctuary there for thy name saying na walikaa huko wamejengea pa mtakatifu kwa jina lako huko wakisema if when evil comes upon us as a sword sort of judgment or pestilence or famine we stand before this house and in thy presence for thy name is in this house and cry and be in our affliction then thou will hear and help ya kitujia mabaya upanga mkumu au taoni au njaa tutasimama bebe ya mungu ya nyumba hii na bebe zako maana jinalako lina jina lako limo katika nyumba hii na kukulilia katika shila yetu na we utatusikia na kukua and now we hold the children of Ammon and the Moab and Mount Sa'il, whom thou wouldest not let us Israel invade when they came out of the land of Egypt, but they turned from them and destroyed them not. Na sasa tazama wana wa Ammoni na Moabu na Mulema Sa'ili ambao huku wacha Israeli waingie katika nchi yao walipotoka nchi ya mesu lakini wakageukia we all I say how they reward us to come to, to, to cast us out of the possession, out of thy possession which thou hast given us to inherit. Oh our God, will thou not judge them? For we have no light against this great company that cometh against us. Mana sisi ya tunawezo juu ya njami kubwa hii wanaotujia juu. Let us know what to do, but our eyes are upon thee. Wala hatujui tufanyi enji na kini macho yetu ya tazama kwako. And all Judah stood before the Lord with their late ones, their wives, and their children. Wakasimama yuda wote mbele za Bwana pamoja na wadogo wao na wake zao na watoto wao. The king is making a prayer. Fanya anafanya ombi. All the people are gathered including the young ones. Watu wote wamekusanyika hata wale wadogo. That is a big big congregation. Kila maanisha hiyo ni kusanyika kwa sababu Zechariah, the son of Benaiah, the son of Jeruel, the son of Mataniah, a Levite of the sons of Asaph, came the Spirit of the Lord in the midst of the congregation. Dipo ya Azeli, wana wa Zechariah, wana wa Benaiah, wana wa Yehili, wana wa Mataniah, Mlawi, na wana wa Asafu, akajiliwa na roho ya wana katikati ya kusani. As prayer was being made, wakati maombi ya luga kifana, the spirit of God, na wangu, 
Who said on the who may we? Said on the one this man to respond to the prayer that was being made by the king in the hearing of the congregation. So the Bible says the end that he was there in the midst of the congregation. He was there just one of the people who, who was witnessing or who was uh, there as the king prayed. So I should leave that your word this evening. Or I should leave our word this evening. I want each one of us to tell God that Lord, that you are the one who has given me the grace and the ability to be used as you will. Of one of knowledge. I'm ready to give the one of wisdom. That as you will, you may use me. Not as I will, but as you will. Because I also know that you listen to whom you will. But I'm ready, brother. You tell me to tell that you have to lift up your voice and speak to him. When the Spirit starts you out Pray. Even those who joined that via social media, even out there, pray. Yes, you may get some knowledge about what should be going on or what is going on. You may get to be told on what should be going, what, what should be going on. So, but if you're not in Friday with us, it will still happen. And you who are here, even when you are gone, let your attendance be high. Yes, your attendance should be a lot. Don't push them down. Meditate on Galatians chapter 5, those verses we read. And then think and pray for the gifts we have already talked about. Tomorrow we said to the people of prophecy. We have a lot to say there. Be prepared. Right now, we're going to have a very good assessment. Father, we are in your presence. And we have come for our resources. We thank you because you provided for us. That is why this reading can offer. We pray that it may be acceptable before you. Bless your people. As we give. Bless us. Even as we disperse. Your protection with us. Your grace is sufficient for us. And Lord, once again, tomorrow bring us together. Help us to experience the things we are hearing. That you may be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.